Hello YouTube, it's Luna. Hubby and I are off to do a after Christmas Christmas meal with my mum. Um, my outfit of the day, the skirt comes from a charity shop, it was originally by Next. It wasn't quite like this when I got it. If you remember my one for the boys, I said accept a little imperfection. This work, skirt wasn't imperfect, but it didn't quite fit. And what follows is a little instructional video on how to alter waistlines. So the rest of the outfit, I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt, probably Primark, can't remember, and this strange multiple crossing mohair cardi. The front of this, I won't undo it, but the front of this actually wraps round twice on each side and you can wrap it round your neck or chuck it wherever you want to. Again, also from a charity shop. Because of the arch of my back, I get this sagging problem with quite a few of the skirts and pairs of trousers that I buy. I flip the skirt inside out and am pinching at the back to see how much I need to lose. It's roughly two inches on each side and here I've pinned it at the waistband. Because this waistband is sewn in folded over elastic, it would be a better and more comfortable fit to sew straight down the elastic and the top of the skirt. So I'm marking the width of the pinch, open the waistband right up and then pin it again to the width of the pinch. It's much easier to see it than for me to explain. Remember the elastic is folded over so you have to pin down the same depth again at the same width as the pinch. Now fold the waistband back over and mark the top of the dart with a pin. For a smooth and comfortable dart, I recommend you start at least 4 inches from the bottom of the waistband. Start at the bottom of the dart and simply sew up to the point marked for the bottom of the waistband. I usually do a few extra backwards and forwards lines at either side of where the snip will be just to give it a little reinforcement. Carry on to the top of the elastic, a few extra lines reverse and forwards just for some more reinforcement, then repeat the whole process on the other side. At the bottom of the waistband, snip into the dart. This just allows the dart to sit flatter against your back. This next section is optional and it's purely for comfort. Pin the excess elastic towards the outside seam of the skirt and sew it down. Once the waistband is turned over you can do the same thing to sew the elastic onto the top of the skirt. This again will help the waistband sit flat against your back. And I now have a non-saggy skirt. I hope you found those instructions easy to follow. If you're not sure about anything, please ask any questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you have a go at this yourself. You may find the perfect skirt that's just a little bit too big and it's very easy just to take it in to fit you around the waist. If you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. And until the next time, take care. Bye.